guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Haggis Gaming Series on City Skylines. Now over the last uh, week or so um, I've been running out the simulation um, on Jill's town to see how things were doing and to be honest it's just been a complete disaster. Um, I did some filming this morning uh, trying to sh uh, try to fix a lot of the issues that I was having with the town um, but I was just basically getting nowhere. We had major traffic issues um, for a start and we also had major problems with waste and also with goods not getting from the industrial area to the um, to the business district or the commercial area uh, they weren't getting enough goods to sell but I think the, the biggest problem of all was with the actual map itself that I was using Heaven's Gates now the map had a, a theme, the European theme, locked in place um, from the outset from when you start the map and I did get a mod to, that allows you to change it to the international theme for the city or for certain districts, um, but it wasn't uh, including the level 5 buildings for some reason, so I wasn't getting any large skyscrapers in the building as well, which was just really disappointing, so I thought, do you know what, I'm not going to try and fix this anymore, um, I'd already wasted a few days trying to fix the problems and trying to do some footage as well on it, so I thought the best thing to do, just scrub it, start again, um, and we'll make Jill's Town, this lovely island that we have here. Um, this is a really nice looking map actually, I think, is this the Sandy Shores map maybe? Um, can't remember, I'll find out for you and I'll put it in the description as well to let you know what map it is, but I think we're going to go ahead and start building a city on this map now. I think I'll probably um, have the, the main kind of city area down here, with this cool volcano and our beaches as well, all the way around here. Um, industrial area, possibly up in this kind of district here. Um, over here, maybe some residential, and residential obviously in the main bit, but this will have businesses, hotels, that kind of thing. We'll make a, a resort type area down here, which I think will look really cool. Okay, uh, let's kind of go ahead with that. I think what we want to do first is obviously get our highway connection going um, and start maybe getting some roads down here. So let's crack on with that. Right, so um, this is our first kind of on-off point for traffic uh, coming into the city. I'm um, just going to make it a kind of basic, this is where it is actually on the map, so i um, just going to make it this basic intersection just now, which I think, I think this looks pretty cool. So we've got our traffic coming along here, and we can go up here and back on that way. Um, pretty standard interchange. And then we'll have our traffic coming into the city, so I think we'll just start it in this area just now and then we can work out from there yeah okay so i've got our six lane bike road that i really like i like bikes in the in the city i don't like bikes in real life but <laughs> in this game definitely i want people to be traveling around on bikes more than cars in this game so if we can do that then hey all good so i think we'll just make this come straight down here just now to this forest area and which direction do we want to go out in? Do we want to kind of fill this area out first maybe? Or do we want to just have it in the fo leave the forest area where it is? I think I might do that actually. Yeah, so have the road kind of fall around this forest area. I'll not do it just now but um, I could do it down this way. Yeah, like have it come down snaking almost. So. actually to put another interchange but not at the moment. Okay, so how do we want to fill it? So at the moment we've got traffic is going to come down here. Maybe end up having a roundabout of some kind here. And just now we can leave it like that I think. Okay, so I'm going to lay some roads down here and then I'll come back guys.
So uh, as you see here we've got our roads put down now and we've also got our water pipes put down and uh, also our healthcare facility, our crematorium, our police station and our fire station. We've got a graveyard over here for the dead bodies and also a waste facility over here to take care of our garbage needs. So uh, we need to start planning out uh, what we're going to do with this district now. Um, it's at the top kind of right hand corner of our area here so I primarily want it to be uh, residential um, so I think we'll, we'll maybe keep the residential to this kind of side and we'll leave this area for commercial um, industrial now um, I want to have the industrial district up here ideally um, I don't know if at the moment that would be too far away um, for the commercial district um, I think I think that's something I'm going to have a look into so I might just leave the industrial just now and then I'm going to go and have a look at the, on the internet somewhere about the industrial and see if there's kind of distance problems involved there or whether I can put it at the other end of the map straight away, that kind of thing um, and then we can decide on that so in the meantime we'll just start laying down uh, some residential and some commercial just now and see if we can get some people moving in so uh, we also I want to put down some schools so we'll do that as well. Um, I think we want to have this mainly high density residential. You'll see um, I've left a lot of gaps here. Um, that's one to allow us to put in different sizes of buildings and parks etc. But also um, to allow the traffic space. I don't want... I noticed in the other cities that I've been doing, um, if we're leaving small, a lot of small areas like this between junctions then we're going to get a lot of traffic build up so I wouldn't try and have the, the gaps on the main roads you know, quite large as they are here. Um, we do have some small ones here and there but we'll see how it goes and then we can kind of chop and change it. I just hope we don't get the major traffic problems that we had in the last uh, city. So, um, let me think here. Uh, so I want to put down some high density residential. We'll just lay it all along here just now. If we want to change that later on we can. We can delete them on it. In fact, I think I'll just use this big fill tool here. I'm just going to inf... Um, well, I'll do a leave the main road down the middle here for commercial. And the same on the other side of this main road here. So this bit and this bit I'll leave. So I'll just do this like that just now and then I can if I hold the right click button down and drag it along there that also dezones it rather than you having to select the dezone tool. I don't know if I told you that before. Okay, just get rid of those. Uh, I think we're all filled in here, yep. Put some low density commercial just now. Or some high. Yeah, some high density actually. Some schools and parks and things down actually. 
So we'll do that like that. And then maybe some low density. Down this way. I think that's probably enough for now just to get us going. Yeah, we need to get some power on the go. Um, let's have a look at power. Now, I'm not a fan of the coal power plants or these. I don't see why we have to use them when we can use nuclear or the solar if you're not going to use the after dark. But I think we want to see it at night time, so we're going to use after dark. Um, power station, we can plop that down here next to our rubbish depot. Hopefully that's going to jump across soon. We could just stick some uh, pylons just now. There we go. So that's us got power. Districts are filled in nicely there. And they've got water as well. So schools, education, right. So if we put an elementary school down here. It's going to make them happy. I'm going to plot one down here as well because eventually we're going to have people needing education down in this area too. I'm going to put it down here. Yep. And also a high school as well. I'll put a high school here on the main road. back and see obviously that later on. We need to get a university down as well. We want a lot of educated people in our city. Okay, let's stick some parks down now as well so we can put a small playground down. just now. Uh, I think, is that everything? Oh god, we got a fire straight away right across from the fire station. That's, that's the elementary school. Oh no, I only put it down like two seconds ago and already it's on fire. Oh no, this is not turning out good guys. Well, hopefully that's our, our one disaster straight away. We don't need to worry about anything else. I like this, this little city. It's cool. I like the way the land sits as well. It's really cool, especially if you look at it like this. So it's undulating. I like that word. <laughs> okay, so let's fast forward a bit and see if we can get some growth on the go. Okay, so I've run it forward a, a bit there. You see it's gone forward a couple of years, or in fact it's only a year or two. Um, and we've got some amazing growth going on already straight away. Um, we're starting to get some nice big buildings here uh, going on in the residential area. And some offices springing up as well. Um, now you see we're starting to get some demand for industrial and I'm thinking, do you know what? I think I'm just going to stick some industrial in and I'm going to put it in in this section over here. Um, and just obviously this kind of gap here if you like. Um, so I'm, I'm questioning whether or not we should be putting an overpass in here um, and making it a, a highway connection as well. Um, I think I will do that. Um, and then we can join them up and start making an industrial area. So let's go ahead and do that while this city is plodding along. So if we take our, what is it, our six lane highway, uh, not our highway, our six lane avenue here, and we want to raise it up. And if we bring it up to the lane there, and we're going to go down, we're just going to look over that and see kind of what height it is because the land changes height you'll see here. We don't want to have it too low, so that's a bit too low, so if we bring it back and we pop it up to say 12 
see if I go too far there it makes a really steep hill so if I bring it back just a bit I can catch it just at the very end there and it makes a more a more smooth transition from the low to the high which is more natural I think ok so um, we'll stick in obviously our highway on and off ramp see look we're getting major traffic here already as this wants to kind of come in they're going to have to cross over these guys so maybe need to look at that could put a roundabout in that's probably the the best thing to do there, like a roundabout over the top of the, the highway. I think once we put this in though, they're obviously going to start coming off here as well, so we'll see what happens. See if it spreads the traffic over there, it just makes it worse. Okay, so we'll come out here and uh, like that. And we'll do the same on the other side. And you'll see I've made those in the wrong way round. So if I click my upgrade tool and just highlight the road here. Right click on it, changes them around, puts them to the right way, same on the other side. Just bring this from here and bring it down to right there. I'm not too fussy about how accurate it is. Okay, yep, so they can come off here and go that way. Excellent, cool. I'm liking this. Okay, now we want to start working in an industrial area, so we can go back to our six lane modes here. And bring this up. So hopefully as some of our people start graduating. So we've got 945 university students, 48 oh, it's going down. Hopefully that means they're graduating. We'll go and start finding jobs and not that they're just dropping out because they're lazy. Hmm. Yeah, this is looking good. I'm liking this. Starting to get some nice build up, different houses as well. See I much prefer this. Uh, this is the trop it says it's the tropical theme, but the buildings are the international building theme. Um, so I like the buildings and the international theme better than the European one. Although, you know, I live in Europe myself and the buildings, they look similar to ours. It's just that they all look, look really good in this game and they don't make them go any higher than uh, level 3 or 4. Uh, like these kind of size. But it's just ridiculous, we do have buildings taller than that here in most cities, you know, so that annoys me. Okay, it looks as though we're starting to get some people filling these jobs, which is good. Excellent, so that's what we like to see. I think that is because they're graduating. I think, is there a way that we can check that education? Yep, let's see. Graduated citizens, 64%, not bad. 65, yes, that's good. 
This is going well, so far so good. Our traffic as well has lightened up, you'll see, because they're now able to use both. We could also put one in here and that would ease it a little bit more. This is going well. Right, I'm going to run this for a bit guys. Right, so this is how things are looking now and it's a lot better than the last city for sure. Um, We've got some really nice growth going on here, um, great buildings coming up here, uh, traffic seems to be flowing well, we'll see we've added another overpass and interchange here, um, I'm going to need to sort out these ramps, they don't look very good, they're not long enough but it was just to kind of get it on the go and to let people get into the industrial area so that they can fill up the jobs. Um, it seems to be, to be working well, um, we're getting demands now, uh, I think for see um, more commercial and more residential so we can stick that in um, once we get more residential we need to send more people over to the industrial area to give them jobs um, else, everything else is working pretty well waste's working pretty well just now uh, landfill site going to need another one of those soon um, i need to start putting some walkways pathways things like that and trees beautification we can do that in another episode but i think that about wraps it up for today's episode i just wanted to kind of bring you up to date and see where we were and um, so i'm basically starting again from scratch with this city uh, but i think this is going to be good it's a really nice looking map and uh, i think you know as you'll see here we're going to have a nice city and um, when it's all kind of built up and spread out over this whole map and we've got resorts and beach assets things like that going uh, I really love this kind of volcano thing as well, we need to do something like that, a hiking trail or something. We've got this one over here on its own as well. Um, I think it's going to work out really good, so let's keep watching this one. Make sure you subscribe, like and also comment as well. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next episode.